I'm going to tell you exactly why you need to take Malibu off your list of places to surf. I filmed Malibu multiple times throughout the years and every time I film it, I see the same thing happening over and over again. Pure chaos. The wave is an incredible wave. And if the moon is lined up right and you paddle out with a four leaf clover in your pocket, you may just get one all to yourself. And that moment is pure bliss. And that is the reason why you probably continue to go back. But for 99% of the population, you're not going to get one of those waves all to yourself. And so today I'm going to break down exactly what I see happening in the lineup out there. Let's kick this thing off. Okay. This is a great one to start with. Look at the craziness that's over here while this guy is coming down the line. And these two people are watching it. Got a good crowd going on over here. Everyone's piling for the wave that someone's already on. This alone, I don't understand. I don't understand how these guys are all piling side by side with each other. These two people saw all this chaos coming directly at them. So normally you'd be like, I got to move. Like you'd want to paddle this way to get around these people. But instead of that, they both turn and they're like, this would be a great wave to surf. I, I, I don't understand how you see four people coming at you and you spin to go. So as these three are coming down, these two have now turned around to look. Yeah, they're still on the wave. And these people are still palling for a wave that had three guys on it and then a ton of people. One, two, three, four, five, six, six people in, in your way. So now he's up. I'm guessing these two are friends. So maybe she's like, if he's up, I can get up too. He's not going to get mad at me. This guy is letting this guy know, hey, I am behind you just in case you didn't realize that. These guys are hoping they don't die. Oh, he stopped so he didn't take this guy's head off. He even takes another glance over here. And then they run over each other. And she's got a huge smile on her face. She's having fun. And, and who am I or who are we to say that this is wrong unless she you know, gets her ACL torn off by another surfboard? So there you go. That's our very first clip these are all crazy i don't even know where to start but basically you see all these people in here there's a lot of people waiting around for these guys to run them over what we're going to look at is this guy here now this guy's already cut this guy off so it it <laughs> we're not getting into that part so as we progress this along he still hasn't looked over to see who's coming his way as he starts to stand up right here he sees this guy and so what does he do he's gonna kick off he's gonna do the right thing but this is how crazy it gets at Malibu. As he kicks off, he almost gets this surfer right in the head. Like, it's so crazy that even when you're attempting to do the right thing, you still have a chance of killing someone. So the camera's focused back here, but what we're talking about is this guy here in the black hood, this lady dropping in. Uh, so she drops in, he's head down. He has never looked back at all. I get it, his head's still down. Maybe he's paddling hard for the wave, but at, at this point, he's gotta notice that she's there. You can see he's attempting to back off of it at this point. Sorry, she's out of frame. He's pulling back. Problem being, it's too late to pull back. So he literally, oh, right on the ankle. That is painful. I think right about now she realizes, I just got hit by something. She probably didn't realize he was behind her. Now, as you see, they're getting tangled up right there. Her leash is actually wrapped around his surfboard. At this point is pure danger because anything can happen. She jumps off. Oh, there he is. Now he's completely flipped over and now he's going down the falls and there's boards tangled up into this mess. This lady's like, please don't hit me. Please don't hit me. Please don't hit me. Look at the, look at the carnage that's going on right here. He's like, whoa, and she is rightfully pissed. He has now put her in like serious danger. That, that could have gone terribly wrong. This ends up getting into a huge shouting match. But yeah, she throws a little, little water at him there. And now they're in danger of getting hit by more surfers coming. So this is kind of a bad situation. So she's giving it to him the whole way back out. Oh yeah, now they're in a splash war. Crazy Malibu, this is why I say don't go. Crazy things are going to happen all the time. 
and you could get stuck into this situation. Okay, so we're gonna be focusing on this lady here and then this guy here coming down the line. She's looking uh, this way. I, I'm, I'm not sure why, because she should be looking the other way. He's actually got a pretty nice little wave he can pull off a maneuver. This guy here looks over, sees this guy coming. She is now gonna put her head down and go for it. Now she's digging in, look at her go. She is digging in hard. And then she's just up and going right as this guy's picking up speed to do a maneuver. I mean, that is where it can get dangerous because if he had, if this was a little bit of a better wave and he had more speed, he would have had to run into her. So basically, he does a somewhat of a cutback there. And she, I don't know if she ever realized that there was anyone behind her. Okay, so here's a good one. Two out of the three people who are going to be palling for this wave are looking over here. Almost as if it's peeking over here and going the opposite direction, but it's not. So maybe this is our first problem. All right, let's play a game. Who do you think is going to go and cut this guy off? This guy now backs off. This guy now backs off. So as he comes up, he's like, this guy is legitimately looked at me, and now he's dropping in. These guys are looking at down here going, he is. He did it. Wow, he's dropping down on this guy. This guy is super concentrated about making the wave and not worried about about the guy behind him and now as this comes up oh no they collided of course they collided what did we think was going to happen this guy's like dude seriously like so he just gives him a nice little nudge <laughs> down he goes we've got 983 people paddling out here's our buddy again in the hood this time he seems to be looking this way and yet he's still paddling He's digging in, digging in, digging in hard. This guy back here actually almost caught up to this guy. So there's a, a secondary problem we have over there. But anyway, this guy's like, no, you're not really going to drop in on me, are you? Yes, I am. And he's trying to back off at this point. You can see him pulling back. But this should have happened a long time ago, way back here. And this guy's looking over at these guys going, oh, no, <laughs> it's going to get ugly. Uh, he stops his board from literally taking out his kneecap. So he pushes the board away and then continues to go because he had to straighten out. This is a makeable section, but because he straightens out to push this guy's board away, he ends up getting caught up in that part there. He should still be up in here, still riding the wave. Okay. So here's the chaos from, from a different point of view. She is over here. Just so you guys know, always paddle away from the direction that of the open face of the wave because they're going to be coming down. You could get run over. You see how she's paddling this way? That That's not a great idea at all. As I forward this, now she's in a really bad scenario and she stops. He sees that if he keeps holding the line he was on, he's going to run right into these people here. As he's cutting back, digs that edge, jumps off, as he jumps off, he does make a reach for the board. And so as he reaches for that board, the board's too far away. Now she is in a horrible position. She got lucky that this guy straightened out. So as he goes down, now this is a shooting missile. This guy luckily straightened out and there's no one in his path. This guy, yay, this guy wins because he did the right thing. See how he paddled into the white water? Luckily, she knew to spin this direction that she didn't stay sitting on this board because as she spins off, that board protected her from his board. And now it's just that. I, I can't explain to you how important it is to not paddle into people's direction. Okay, so this is another part of the chaos. We're going to eyeball this guy here as he's coming down the wave. He, he can't go this direction because he would have run over this person. Now he's got to navigate these, we'll call them speed bumps, right? Uh, this guy's duck diving, this guy's duck diving. He's up trying to duck dive, and it is very important to hold on to your board, and that's what we're going to learn right here. This guy is now attempting to dive through the wave. Unfortunately, he lets go of his board, and at this point, you've got a flying missile coming back and bonk. I mean, that is so close if that board would have hit him in the head sideways, it, it could have knocked him out. And now you have somebody knocked out in the water, which is one of the most dangerous situations you could have. Think how lucky this guy is because him having that arm backwards is what actually saved that from hitting him in the head. Wow, man, that, 
that's crazy. But hey, this is what happens at Malibu. There's a ton more clips I could sit here and go through with you, but it's crazy. Stay away from Malibu. Don't go unless you're ready to deal with this kind of situation. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. I know you're going to do it anyway. I didn't have to ask for it. But anyway, hey, I'm Brad Jacobson. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the sand.